Hello Clean Shoppers, welcome once again to my channel. This is Sir Job and welcome to Sir Job TV. Para sa lahat po ng mga new explorers, tsaka newly discovered pa lang po sa akin channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be updated with my future videos. So para sa araw na ito, ipagpatuloy natin ang discussion natin sa practical research 1 kung saan ito yung qualitative research. So our topic for this morning is all about Types of questionnaire in research. Welcome to my video number 166. Good morning once again, Golden Chubbers. Today is June 25 of 2021 and today is Friday. Pero patuloy pa rin tayong magbibigay sa inyo ng meaningful discussion dito pa rin sa mundo ng Practical Research 1. Okay, so our topic for this morning, na-mention ko na po sa inyo, na ito po yung mga types of questionnaire. Okay, so um, disclaimer lang po before we have to continue the discussion. Pagpasensyahan nyo na kung medyo maingay ang ating discussion ngayon kasi napakarap aming transactions po na naggaganap ngayon sa aming national highway. So, hindi ko po yan kayang kontrolin. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na po. But at least, um, thank you for our V8 sound card. Matutulungan tayong makondense um, ng konti yung ating um, video or the audio ng ating videos. So, hopefully, um, klaro lang sa inyong pandinig dyan as we go along with our discussion for this morning. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the types of questionnaire. Very important ito. Um, isa ito sa mga tanong na itinatanong sa atin sa ating mga defense. Ano ang ginamit nating questionnaire upon digging our data? Because, you know, when we are talking about interview or making a questionnaire, this is one way also of getting our data. This is one of the ways in collecting our data for our research. So basically, uh, meron po tayong tatlong formation. Um, although, if you have to read or to um, open this one sa Google, makikita nyo doon, meron siyang quasi-structure na combination of the structured and the unstructured questionnaire. But definitely, dito sa ating discussion ngayon, I will be introducing to you the structured, the unstructured, and the semi-structured questionnaire. Ano-ano ang mga ito? At ano nga ba ang dapat natin gamitin if we are going to plan, okay, to gather finally our data in a kind of research that we are doing. So, here sa whiteboard, makikita nyo ngayon, meron tayong structured questionnaire. Okay. Na kung saan, naglagay na ako ng A, B, C, tsaka meron ding D dito na supposedly hindi ko na siya isasali because of the limitations sa ating space. Pero since meron pang vacant, so in-include ko na lang yung letter D as a description for a structured questionnaire. So, sa letter A, mababasa natin, the interviewer will ask the participant participant the same questions in the same way. So, kung ano ang tinanong mo sa first participant, par ganun pa rin ang itatanong mo sa second participant, and so on and so forth. The same version, the same pacing, walang magkakaiba doon sa tanong na ni-raise mo. That is structured questionnaire. A tightly structured schedule is used. Yun ang sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, okay? So, the same lang po ang formation kung ano ang in-apply mo sa first participant. Okay. Sa letter B naman, mababasa natin, the questions may be phrased in order that a limited range of response may be given. Okay. Example natin dito na inilagay, do you rate our services as very good, good or poor? So, meaning to say, upon the conversation or the interview process, mayroon kang ibinigay na choices for that particular participant para malimit yung kanyang answer. Okay? Kasi pwedeng marami ang kanyang sagot for a given question. But because you give him a choices ngayon na limit. Okay? So commonly po, pag um, ginamit natin ang structured questionnaire, um, lumalabas po ito usually sa quantitative. Okay? Kasi ang quantitative, this is the formation talaga ng quantitative. No? Meron talagang options or choices na kung saan pipiliin na ng isang participant or respondent in a quantitative research. Okay? So, that's it. A researcher needs to consider whether a questionnaire or structured interview is more
more appropriate. This is one thing that you always have to remind yourself, ha, as a researcher. Kung gagamitin ko ba ang structured questionnaire, effective ba ito na makagather ako ng data from this particular research journey? If your answer is yes, then go on. Pero kung tingin mo, you have doubts na hindi magiging successful, then do not use the structured questionnaire. Okay? Kasi you can combine naman the two. But if you chose talaga na mag-structured questionnaire ka fully, completely sa research mo, you always have to plan ahead ha kung ito ba ay effective or not in the application of your gathering of data. So that's how you need to consider as a researcher. Let us see. If the interview is too tightly structured, this may not enable the phenomena under investigation to be explored in terms of either breathe and dip. Okay. Ano ibig sabihin dito? Highlight natin ha. May not enable the phenomena. Okay. Under investigation to be explored. Kasi nga sa ating definition letter B, na limit ang sagot ng ating participant. And knowing that we are actually researching in a qualitative method. And then, hindi natin nabigyan ng opportunity ang ating participant na mag-expound ng kanyang answer. So, definitely, may mga punto sa ating study na hindi siya na-explore ng mabuti. It's because we are giving them too much limitations in answering our questions. Do you get the point? This is one of the outcomes if you are going to use the structured questionnaire in our research. Okay, let's proceed now to letter D. Qualitative interviews should be fairly informal and participants feel they are taking part in a conversation or discussion rather than in a formal question and answer situation. This is how you are going to think about also, especially sa lahat ng mga nagre-research kayo ng qualitative, um, pwede kayong gumamit ng structured questionnaire given that according here sa definition, Fairly informal dapat ang approach ninyo. Meaning to say, um, even if prepared ang ating questionnaire, kasi nga we are following the structured one, kailangan pa rin magiging fairly informal tayo. Meaning to say, there are points pa rin na talagang we have to engage our participants. We have to feel the comfortability. Diba yan ang sabi ko sa inyo sa previous video, na dapat talaga makuha natin yung trust okay, or connect activity ng ating participants as we go along with our interview process. Very important kasi yan. So that is the reason why according to our definition, even if you are following structured questionnaire, you should have to apply the fairly informal approach in the conversation. Okay? So, they get the point. So, ganun po. That's how we have to um, define the structured questionnaire. Now, let's proceed to the concept of unstructured questionnaire. Ano naman ang unstructured? Letter A can be referred to as depth or in-depth interviews. Okay? So, they have a very little structure at all. Commonly, pag sinasabi nating unstructured, ito yung mga unprepared talaga na mga Q&A or conversation or interview, to be exact. Okay? Definitely. Like for example, ang pinaka-common nito, um, kung hindi sa research nagaganap, like for example, long time ago, hindi kayo nagkita ng friend mo. And then one day, nagkasalubong kayo sa daan. Of course, you will just have to um, interview with each other or to ask each other's life. Anong nangyayari sa inyo? So definitely, in that particular conversation, you are actually following the unstructured questionnaire or conversation. But here, kasi pinag-uusapan natin ang research, we have to define this one according to our research approach. So, sa letter C naman, makikita natin, the interviewer may just go with the aim of discussing a limited number of topics, sometimes as few as just one or two. A um, very short conversation. Okay, kasi nga, wala naman tayong guide na fina-follow. Kung ano ang maisip ng isang interviewer, for example, or naghanda siya actually ng tadong, pero maliit lang. 
It's either one or two question. Yan na, tapos. Kasi unstructured naman eh. ba? Diba? Especially if ang nagtanong, nahirapan din siyang mag-follow up ng question. So definitely, the conversation will just have to end up in a blink of an eye. Tapos na agad, no? Mabilisang conversation lang ito kasi nawalan din ng um, follow-up question ang interviewer in the process of the conversation. Good for you kung magaling kang mag-create ng another question while the participant is actually answering the first question you raised. But definitely, here sa unstructured, um, talagang it's a few conversation lang because it involves mga few questions also in the, in the interviews. Okay? So, something like that as we define the concept of the unstructured questionnaire. So, let's proceed now with letter D. The interviewer may frame the interview questions based on the interviewee and his or her previous response. So, ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina na if magaling mag-follow up question, okay, ang isang nagtatanong or the interviewer, good for him. Kasi medyo ma-strengthen pa or ma-add pa yung time ng conversation with a kind of interview. Okay, kasi nakabuo ka ng question out from the answer of your participant. Good for you. Pero kung hindi mo kayang gawin yun, so definitely, may end talaga ang conversation in a very short time. Because unstructured questionnaire, pumunta ka sa field without preparing your questions in a kind of interview. Letter E, this allows the discussion to cover areas in great detail. Highlight natin itong great detail ha. Kasi usually, pag itong mga unstructured interview ang nagaganap, didiretsyo tayo sa pinaka-highlight ng ating objective. Bakit ako pumunta dito? And what is the point of my study? Direct, direct to the point. That's how the unstructured questioner or interview should be done. Yun talaga ang usually na process Kasi yung pinaka-highlight ng research mo, yun din ang always mong mariremember at may imagine. Do you, do you get me? Ganun talaga usually. So, nawala yung mga flower-flower of words in a conversation kasi we will just have to go directly to those ideas na mariremember natin sa ating um study, okay? Or what kind of question that's supposedly to be raised in the conversation. So, ganun po. Usually talaga, didiretsyo tayo sa mga great detail of our conversation. So, letter F under unstructured questionnaire, they involve the researcher wanting to know or find out more about specific topic without there being a structure or a preconceived plan or expectation as to how they will deal with the topic. So, highlight natin ha, um, preconceived plan or expectation as to how they will deal with the topic. So, definitely, um, in the unstructured questionnaire, you are not expecting more kung ano ang pwedeng lumabas sa conversation. Doon lang magbe-base ang follow-up question mo or the conversation. Wala kang iniisip na ito dapat ang marating, ito dapat ang mangyari. Walang ganun. Because there's no preconceived plan, there's no expectation to be done when the conversation or the interview is being done in unstructured way or the questionnaire is being used in the conversation is unstructured one. So, ganun po ang punto. There's no preconceived plan and there's no expectation ano ang mangyayari sa topic or sa process ng conversation. Okay, let's proceed to the number three, the last one. We have here the semi-structured questionnaire, okay? is a type of interview in which the interviewer asks only a few predefined questions while the rest of the questions are not planned in advance. So, in a combination of structured and unstructured questionnaire, we can actually apply in the interview the semi-structured questionnaire wherein ang few of the questions na in-erase mo ay predefined. Meaning to say, naghanda ako ng limang tanong in this particular conversation. But the rest 
on the spot na. Kung ano ang lalabas sa kanyang sagot, doon ako magpa-process. So, kailangan prepared ka rin. Dito kasi sa unstructured, baka mag maguluhan kayo ha, kasi parang parehas lang ang unstructured at saka semi-structured, semi kung titingnan natin. Pero dito kasi, you are na talaga expecting kung ano yung sasagutin, kung ano yung isasagot ng isang participant. Okay? Pero dito sa uh, semi-structured, you are actually expecting something na ito ang isasagot niya, titira ako ng ganito na follow up question para doon sa sinagot ng participant in this particular question. So definitely ganun ang conversation. Handa ka. Okay? Though nakasaa dito sa ating definition na um, few predefined question ang ginawa po ng isang taong nagpre-prepare ng isang interview using the semi structured. Okay, yung first portion as I said to you, hinanda niya po 'yon. But of course, doon sa mga tanong, like for example, limang question na inihanda niya, naka-ready na rin po yung mga follow-up question na i-raise niya doon sa limang tanong na nahanda niya na already. Okay, so kasi meron sa meron siyang predefined na questions, okay, sa semi structured questionnaire. Ganun ang kanilang kaibahan sa unstructured kasi dito talaga you are not expecting something you are not planning anything kasi unstructured nga siya so yun siya pero dito sa semi-structured you are actually preparing few questions okay at the same time you are actually preparing some of the follow-up questions to be raised in that particular interview so ganun po ang punto ng semi-structured so again these are the types of questionnaire in research na pwede natin gamitin as we go along with a data gathering. Okay? So, we have the structured questionnaire, the unstructured questionnaire, and the semi-structured questionnaire. So, that will be all for this morning. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope that you will share this video to your friends and to anybody else that you think na ngailangan ng video na ito. Asahan niyo po that Search of TV will continue to discuss more meaningful discussions, especially in the world of social sciences. Thank you once again for watching. Bye-bye!